Hello, Vata121 here. Welcome back, and we are Let's Playing Final Fantasy IX. And in this episode, we're going to explore the forest with Zidane, because, well, he's the only character that we're controlling right now. And yes, this is the evil forest. And if I didn't mention before, Zidane is the main character of the game. He's the central character of the game. For the most part, he is always going to be in your party. And this character is a thief. So it's kind of different from most other Final Fantasy games, actually. Because usually the main character of the game is not a thief. He's like a knight or something along those lines. So that's pretty cool. Alright, we got a new enemy here, Fang. This guy actually has some pretty decent stuff to steal. And I'm just gonna go to the back row, that way I can take less damage while I'm trying to steal from this guy. As you can see, even with the battle speed turned all the way up, it's still extremely slow in this game. And yeah, this guy actually has four items. Potion, High Potion, Phoenix Down, and Phoenix Pinion. And right now I'm not getting too lucky with the stealing. In fact, if I don't get anything this time, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to kill him. Screw it. It's taking too damn long. Now, the interesting thing about the steal mechanic in this game is uh, the more successful steals that Zidane has, uh, it's a good thing. It will affect a certain ability that he'll learn later on in the game. Basically, uh, the power of it is determined by the amount of times that you've stolen or successfully stolen from enemies. So, uh, stealing with Sedane, win-win situation. You can get some good items and you can power up an ability that he'll get later on in the game. A level two. All right, let's keep going here. Uh, she's in trouble. What the hell is that? Yeah, totally, man. Oh, look at that! It's some kind of plant or something. Yeah, like it's really gonna listen to you. Yeah, totally, man. So this evil forest has lots and lots of evil, <laughs> dangerous plant life. Now we have to save the princess from whatever the hell this thing is. And yeah, the game is, uh, this is a scripted battle. It's basically going over the uh, limit break mechanic in this game, which is called trance mode. And, uh... You can't use it whenever you want, it's only activated for two or three turns once your meter is full. So you can't really control it, which kind of sucks, but I don't know, whatever. And uh, yeah, right now it's actually draining HP from Garnet, which is really bad. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's called Prison Cage? Okay, sure. Do free energy on the Prison Cage, I guess. Uh, you know, I, I can't remember if you can steal something from this thing or not, but I'm going to try one time. If I can steal. Doesn't have... Okay, you can't. So I just kind of wasted that there, but oh well. Uh, yeah, get the Zidane's turn, please. And I'm just going to do free energy because I think Tidal Flame actually uh, hits both targets. And yeah, I don't want to hit Garnet. That would be really bad. 
and Trance War Off. And it runs away. Perfect. Okay then. Well, uh, crap. What the heck? Where'd they go? She's gone. I was too scared to cast any spells. That monster's probably gonna eat her. How could I let this happen? Yeah, man, she's still alive somewhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. Crap. Well, it looks like he's back. It's either the same one or. A different one. Either way, it's the same kind of monster. And yeah, VV will actually use spells on this thing. So yeah, magic does seem to be effective. And yeah, I want to steal from the prison cage if I can. Yeah, okay, we can target the enemies and stuff with... Uh, yeah, you can steal broadsword and see what else we can get. Yeah, you gotta keep your keep an eye on Vivi's HP. Don't want him to get too low because if he runs out of HP, then uh, it's a game over. But since I'm trying to steal, I'm definitely gonna be using potions on Vivi if I can't get the items I want. Come on. Use a potion. Just one more absorb and Vivi will be dead. Yeah, we don't want that. Come on. I'm thinking about using a high potion on the prison cage. Now watch, as soon as I use this high potion on the prison cage, I'm probably gonna steal the item I want and that'll be it. Come on. Come on, do it already. God damn, this is taking forever. Okay, I'm gonna edit out however long this takes. Alright, stole a leather wrist. Finally, that took forever. Really took a long ass time to do. And I don't know if he has a third item or not. I can't remember. Okay, just in time. I guess we'll never find out. Yeah, I'm hoping that guy only had two items to steal. And I got both of them, and that's that. Phew, thanks. Are you alright? Yeah, I think so. Whoa! What was that? Princess. Jeez. What the hell happened? Some of the monsters in this forest can reproduce by planting seeds in other animals. Ooh. Wow. It's kind of scary, huh? Having plants growing inside your body? Ugh. That is kind of a horrific thing when you think about it.
princess is in grave danger. No, we're not gonna abandon her. Good grief, man. Holy man. Take that stuff. Damn it, I can't just stand here. Princess's life rests in my hands. What can their boss possibly accomplish? Wow, you sound like you have a lot of faith in others. Poison? Nah, I wouldn't go that far. I think if they were gonna kill you, they would've just stabbed you. Or left you out there, actually put it more plainly. They would have just left you out there to die if they were going to poison you. Or if they wanted you to die. Hey, not bad. Hmm. <laughs> Wow. And what if he does? Eh. Yeah, we might just do that too. I mean, hell, we're the ones that kidnapped her in the first place. Now we got another ATE. Time to escape, I guess. We'll do this one next. Huh? Structure... The structure is in poor condition. Perhaps I can break out by ramming into the wall! Uh... Yeah, so sit down, man. Take it easy. Jeez. What's this? What an ugly doll. Princess Garnet, age 15. How dare they write the princess's name on such a ragged doll? Besides, the princess is not 15, she's 16! Well, jeez, man, give him a break. I mean, the doll was probably made like a year ago or something. <laughs> I mean, wasn't it her birthday just recently as well? Alright, girl was left behind. Yeah, okay, whatever. Where'd everybody go? And what am I supposed to do now? I don't know, I guess he could just sit there. And that's an idea, right? Should be here somewhere. Huh? Damn! Where is it? What happened to my Garnet doll? Really, dude? <laughs> Well, I can't say that I'm uh, particularly surprised that sinna has got a doll of the princess. I mean, that's kind of disgusting, but... Wow. Yeah, the, f the fire probably did get it. But actually, it's just misplaced right now. The funny thing is that, is that Steiner's got it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Alright, we'll do that in a little bit. But first, let's get some items, like a wrist. That's, uh... That's, uh, wrist accessories. Or it goes on your wrist. It goes on your arm. Wait, yeah, your arm. Whatever. Uh... We locked that old nine up in the instrument storage room. He fusses a little from time to time, but he hasn't been all that bad. Yeah, I think he's an idiot, but... Over here, we can get another chest with an ether. Um, I suppose I might as well explore and get the items that we can right now. Before I start moving on with storyline events. Am I gonna die here? Well, hopefully not. Did you hear that? Some Something's crying. Alright, but yeah, we can come over here, and we get a rubber helm, which is headgear for Steiner. And 
there should be some items to find in here as well. Alright, we get a potion. I know. Yeah. As far as I know, that's pretty much all of them for now. Now we get an ether. And if we nothing over there, I think we can get something if we climb this ladder. Now we can get 116 gill. Alright, let's check up on Vivi, see what's going on. Thank you for helping me. Aw, oh, don't mention it. Besides, it was your black magic that saved the day. Yeah, it was. It's pretty amazing. Well, he is kind of little. Hell yeah, man, it's what's on the inside that counts. Hell yeah. Oh, it's okay, man. Alright, so Zidane does not like to be called Mr., apparently. Maybe I shouldn't have made that promise. I don't even know if I'll be able to find her. Oh. Man. So yeah, this is, uh... Zidane's thoughts about his first encounter with the princess. He's already infatuated with her, apparently. So, uh, yeah. Alright, I was just rudely interrupted there, so hopefully it's pretty seamless in between clips. And, uh, yeah, let's go look for her. Why not? Yeah, she's cute and she's in trouble. That's all that matters. Hell yeah, man. I like the way you think, dude. Uh-oh, what are you up to this time? <laughs> she's gonna take the knight and the black mage. Oh, okay. An entourage. Why not? Well, somebody's got to be the hero. It's better than just sitting around here. Alright, well, I guess we're going to be going to uh, talk to the boss. And uh, before I do that, actually, uh, I'm going to put Zidane in the back row. For now. And, uh, am I going to die here? Did you hear that? Something's crying. Oh, yeah, I think I already talked to him. Ah, a Jew! Uh, yeah, that's a reference to Final Fantasy IV. You know, Yang with the uh, a Chew. Or it could just be sneezing, you know. <laughs> I think it's a reference to Final Fantasy IV, though, and Yang. Qua ha ha. I didn't ask you why. I can't blame you, though. She's damn beautiful. Yeah, it better be reason enough. You're gonna bust me up? Huh. <laughs> yeah. Alright, buddy. You can go ahead and think that. But I don't think so. Alright, well anyways, yeah, we're gonna be taking on Baku. So let's do it. Or actually, you know what? You know what? I, I, I think I'm just gonna end the episode right here. That is all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. In the next episode, we'll, I guess, beat up Baku so uh, we can get his blessing to leave the ship. 
and go exploring in the evil forest. This is Vital121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.